So I see you doing your, uh, you open up your uh, headquarters, in Miami. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, been yeah. another buzzing topic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? People kind of on a split offense of it should have been here. Yeah. Dallas should have been ground zero. Why Miami? Um, Because two of my business partners are born and raised in Miami. Okay. So it only made sense. It's two of them, it's one of me. Um, And then it's like, I'm always in Miami. Who wouldn't want to travel to Miami to like, you know what I mean? Like, okay, if I would have had the headquarters in Dallas, it's like, whatever. Yeah. It's down the street. But now it's like, oh, shit, I'm getting flew out to Miami or I'm going to Miami to have a meeting. Yeah. It's just more, it's a, it's like you earned it. Yeah. You know what I mean? But it's like here, it's like a headquarters here. It was like, eh, I'd rather do something more cultural here than just an office. And that's why I'm doing the store. Okay, so yeah. let's go into that. So I see you doing work down in Deep Ellum. Tell me a little bit about this store. Yeah, it's a vintage shop. It's called Dated, Faded, Worn. Okay. Dated, Faded, Worn. It's three words that mean past tense. Dated, Faded, Worn, Vintage Shop. Um, DFW, Dated, Faded, Worn. Um, but it's going to have all the, the, the vintage shit you could ever think of from denim jackets to anything from rap tees, band tees, um, it's going to be cultural, though. Like, kids could come there and just vibe out. Yeah. Not really a hangout spot, but a vibe. You yeah. know what I'm saying? That 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 key place where people, when people come here to do shows, they stop by this store. Got you. You know what I mean? Like, Dallas d- doesn't really have that yet. They don't have that place to where, you know, that cool spot. Like, I want this spot to be to where it's, though, when kids get out of school, like, if they want to come do their homework at this shop, yeah. they can come do that here, you know? And Dallas doesn't really have that spot. And that's the that's the new spot, man. Is it going to be, like, kind of boutique where it's only, like, one-of-a-kind pieces? Or how, how that's going to be? I don't really know yet. Um, it's really going to be some rare shit in there, though. Okay. It's going to be some one-offs. It's not going to be a lot of... A lot of a lot of shit, you know, once you go in there and get it, it's probably, you probably won't see nobody else in there with it. But it's not going to be over, it's not going to be expensive. You can go in there and get a whole outfit for 50 to to $100. Okay. Vintage. Gotcha. Uh, yeah, it's going to be dope. I want to go back to Miami. I w- walk me through the artist experience. They get a phone call for Sean Cotton. Uh-huh. Find out they're getting flown out to Miami. Yeah. What is the say cheese experience when an artist get flown to I Miami? I don't email you. That's it's a scam. I will never email me and my team will never email you first. Never ever email you first. Like that shit is a scam. Please. Cause I be having street guys in my DMs talking about, man, what about 200 of that? And I'm like, like, what do you like? This shit is a scam. I've said it a hundred times. Please, no emails. If I ever like an artist, I'm I'm DMing him. Yeah. I'm like, yo, I'm messing with you. I'm fucking with you. What's your schedule like? Can you get to Miami? How can we get you to Miami? I'll fly you. If you want to drive, people, some people drive down. It just depends. I'll take care of their gas money. Um, you know, we'll have meetings at the office, 44th floor, Brickle, downtown Miami. Yeah. Um, yeah. And Stan, Stan the man, that's my business partner. Um, Say La Vie from Say La Vie. He discovered YNW Melly and City Girls. Okay. Shout out to Jay too. Um, um, we have so many artists in the works right now. Uh, but I partnered up with them with Baby Youngin too. Okay. So yeah. All right. So. Um, so yeah, that's just it, man. You come down there, we vibe out. You know, we might hit jet skis and some shit like that. But see, when you come down to Miami, it's kind of more to do. Not like saying Dallas doesn't really have nothing to do, but it's like more of an experience. We're here. With the pop, I mean, with the with the boutique, is this more of a cultural thing? It's gonna actually build culture. Artists could come in, play their music, you know, while people are shopping. It's just a different vibe. It doesn't mean one means more than the other. Cause I'm gonna meet artists in Deep Ellum too. Absolutely, it's the it's the same thing. It's just I announced that first to see how people were gonna react to it out here. I got you. And but I already had the Deep Ellum shit planned. They just didn't know. So. You think they're going to be satisfied with a clothing store versus the headquarters, though? Definitely. Definitely. Because, I mean, you can still play your music in the store. Um, you can still leave your your memorabilia in the store. Okay. Um, you can still potentially see me in the store. Um, and then out here would have been more, more of a headache. Why have I not gotten a meeting? You know what I mean? I got you. It would have been... I, I can't win. 
and I'm I'm done trying to even please everybody. It's like, yo, work hard, and then you can come to Miami, or you can always stop by the store for free. 